So this is um, video number five in the market structures uh, series for the IB economics high level only microeconomics component. In this video, um, I will focus mostly on monopolistic competition. This will be part one of um, the videos on monopolistic competition. So let's first start by talking um, about the assumptions behind this model um, or this market structure. So the assumptions of the model are there's a very large number of firms. There are no barriers to entry or exit. So firms are free to enter or exit the market. And these firms are producing differentiated products. They are not producing homogenous or identical products. Product differentiation is a very important assumption because Product differentiation creates brand loyalty. Consumers become more loyal to certain brands rather than others. And this grants the firm some degree of monopoly power. For this reason, the demand curve that each firm in monopolistic competition faces, the demand curve for a single firm's product, its average revenue curve, is a regular downward sloping demand curve curve. It's not like perfect competition where the demand curve that each firm faces is a horizontal straight line. This is a regular downward sloping demand curve that each firm faces. And this is how a profit maximizing monopolistic competition, uh, monopolistically competitive firm maximizes its profit. So we know that profit is maximized when you produce a level of output where marginal revenue intersects marginal cost. So marginal revenue intersects marginal cost at this point. You draw a vertical line down. This gives you Q star, which is a profit maximizing quantity of output. And then you draw a vertical line upwards until you intersect both the average cost curve that will give you the average cost and the demand curve or the average revenue curve which will give you the price. So remember P star here is the profit maximizing price. AC star is the average cost at the profit maximizing quantity. Now this uh, rectangle here shaded in green represents the monopolistically competitive firms abnormal profit. What if the firm is making a loss? Well basically the diagram will be exactly the same as the previous slide except average cost will be higher than the demand curve. So again you go where marginal revenue intersects marginal cost, draw a vertical line down to get the profit maximizing quantity of output, Q star. And then you continue the vertical line upwards until you intersect the demand curve. This will give you P star, the profit maximizing price. And you continue until you intersect the average cost curve. This will give you average, uh, so AC star, which is the average cost at the profit maximizing or loss minimizing quantity. Again, this rectangle shaded here in orange represents the firm's loss. So there are two possible scenarios in the short run. Either the monopolistically competitive firm will be earning an abnormal profit or will be making a loss. Actually, there's a third possible scenario, which is the monopolistically competitive firm is only earning a normal profit. So what if the monopolistically competitive firm is only earning a normal profit? Uh, this means that at the intersection of marginal cost and marginal revenue, you get the profit maximizing quantity, Q star. You go up and it just so happens that uh, average cost at this profit maximizing quantity is equal to the price. Here we say the firm is only earning an, a normal profit. Now, it's very important to know that in the long run, a monopolistically competitive firm will only make a normal profit profit. So in the short run, it can make a normal profit, abnormal profit, or loss. But in the long run, it can only make or earn a normal profit. Why, you might ask? Well, because, remember the assumption, there are no barriers, no barriers to entry or exit. If any of the firms are earning abnormal profit, this will attract other competitors into the market, which causes market supply to increase and prices to go down. 
And if any of the firms are making losses, then some firms will exit the market. Therefore, market supply decreases and prices go up. So the long-run equilibrium, occur, equilibrium occurs when all firms are earning only a normal profit. So remember that. In the short run, they can make normal profit, abnormal profit, or a loss. But in the long run, monopolistically competitive firms can only earn a normal profit. Why? Because of there being no barriers to entry or exit into or from the market. It's also important to remember that monopolistically competitive firms or firms in um, monopolistic competition do not achieve either allocative efficiency nor do they achieve productive efficiency. So just a quick refresher, we know that allocative efficiency occurs where average revenue equals marginal cost and productive efficiency occurs where, uh, where average cost equals marginal cost. We know that a monopolistically competitive firm, if it's a profit maximizing firm, it will produce where marginal cost intersects marginal revenue, which is at this point here. It will produce Q star and charge P star. This is the price and this is the uh, quantity. However, allocative efficiency occurs where average revenue intersects marginal cost. So at this point here, this is the QAC, so the level of output at which allocative efficiency is achieved. Productive efficiency occurs where average cost equals marginal cost. So average cost here intersects marginal cost here at, sorry, marginal cost, not marginal revenue. So average cost intersects marginal cost at this point here, and this gives us the level of output at which productive efficiency is achieved. So, uh, in monopolistic competition, firms do not achieve either allocative efficiency or productive efficiency. This is probably because of product differentiation. A lot of resources are spent on advertising and on attracting customers from your competitors. Um, however, that's not necessarily a bad thing because consumers end up being given a wider variety of, of products to choose from. So greater choice for consumers comes at the expense of not achieving allocative efficiency or productive efficiency, unlike perfect competition where products are homogenous or identical.